Hey guys, so I think I know what I'm going to do for my next uh, series of videos. I'm going to be doing a cookie jar Pico tank. I've been looking at the uh, nanoreef.com website. They had a contest that they ran. I think they ran a couple of them where, uh, you know, people try to set up a, uh, a Pico reef. See how it uh, comes out. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to get, I think, a, like a two-gallon cookie jar and order a light. And then everything else I think I already have. I've got uh, everything else needed. It's like bare bones kind of thing. So uh, go ahead and, uh, you know, subscribe. Look forward to having uh, the series up. Probably going to have a video up on it this weekend. Um, so just a couple more days. I'm going to go get my uh, cookie jar and uh, I'll do a, you know, series of videos basically from start to finish and we'll, uh, we'll follow along and see how this little project turns out. Hey guys. All right. So I thought I'd do part one here is going to be me ordering what I need for the cookie jar reef tank. So I'm on Amazon over here and Really, the, I'm only going to order two things on here, and really only you need one of them on here. Uh, and that's the LED light. So this is the uh, ABI LED aquarium light. Uh, I'm going to get the 12 watt. From research I've done, it looks like that's going to be enough. Uh, they've got two different kinds, so let's take a look at them right here. So here you go. You can see uh, they got a 12 watt and a 23 watt. Um, I think I'm just going to do the 12 watt because we're doing a Pico tank here and uh, some of the other setups that I've seen online, uh, they've all been uh, using the 12 watts with success. So uh, you can see the price here, $24.95 plus free shipping if you go over $25, hence why I'm going to go pick up, uh, whatever, pay another $11 for uh, a heater here, or not a heater, I'm sorry, the, the thermostat or therm thermometer here. Um, I have this in my other tank and uh, it's just nice you know it gives you the min and the max for the day uh, which is kind of nice to keep track of so I'm going to pick that up too and that'll give me my uh, that'll give me my uh, free shipping here. Uh, now I was looking for the actual glass jars and uh, you know you can buy them online uh, and uh, you know I'll put links in that uh, in the description and whatnot and again I'll put links for all this stuff in the description in the video too. Uh, but uh, I actually went over, you know, did a little bit of searching, and it looks like Target, at least my local Target, let me get off of that. My local Target here uh, does have it in stock for $13.99. So a look around if you're gonna if you're gonna try something like this, um, check Target, and we'll see once I actually go pick it up. I'm gonna go pick it up later on today, and then uh, we'll jump over and take a look at it here in the uh, next part of the video. So. That's what I'm buying um, for the tank, really just the LED light here. One of the other things I was going to take a look at, and let me see if it's on here, I don't see it, was the actual lamp stand. Um, so let me just let me just, let me me just just look that up and I'll show you what the, I'm thinking of doing. A lamp, lamp, not lamb, lamp, <laughs> lamp, desk. Let's see here. What do we got? Okay, so something along these lines, like this thing, but uh, you know, with the clip, sort of screw-on clip. Uh, yeah, I'll stop jumping around on me here. Uh, let's see if I find it. Not that. That's way small. Of course, now I can't find it. Let's do a lamp. Uh, lamp arm. I don't know. I'm gonna come out lamp here we go uh, here we go something like this this is it right here so uh, let's take a look at this one so I found a nicer one on here that's a little bit more expensive these are $15 you can pick these up at like Ikea and whatnot but the nice thing is it has this uh, screw on base so you can clamp it onto you know your stand or whatever like that and uh, yeah, something like that. I'm going to take a look. I'm not going to buy it right now. Uh, I'm going to take a look uh, at some of the local shops and stuff, see if I can't get it a little bit sooner. But that's basically what I'm looking for uh, to put over the tank. And uh, all right, so let's jump over to uh, 
take a look at the glass jar. Hopefully I, I got it. All right, and here's the jar. Like I said, went over to Target, $13.99. It's a two-gallon cookie jar. You can buy them online, but uh, I haven't seen anything cheaper than uh, Target for $13.99. So here's a, here's a can of soda for comparison. It's quite a big cookie jar. That thing will hold some serious cookies. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, start cleaning it up. Just give it a good uh, fresh water wash down here. And, uh, and then unfortunately, I got to wait for the light to show up. But uh, I think the next thing I'm going to do is uh, get a little bit of live sand. I'm still debating whether to do bare bottom on it or sand. I kind of like the way sand looks in a tank. And I think this is big enough to where I can get, you know, maybe like an inch of sand in there or something like that. And then I've, I'm going to go look at my dry rock that I've got. I've got a bunch of rock, you know, from different builds and whatnot. And uh, I'm going to see what I've got and what will fit in here. Uh, like I said, there's plenty of room in here. You can see it's got a big, big top here. You can see how big that is in there. And then with a can of soda in it. So that's it. Let's go look for some dry rock here. See what it looks like. All right, so I went out to the tool shed over here and started looking through my nice container of, uh, you know, rocks and miscellaneous stuff. And uh, I've got quite a bit of rock. I didn't even realize I had all this. I it out of the sun. So there's some colored rock. I even got another piece out in the backyard that's probably home to like a bazillion spiders that I was going to take a look at. Um, but, you know, I might do something with just this rock here because I think this is enough that uh, for that small tank. And this dry rock has been used before. It's been in a couple of builds, but it's been sitting out here in the... Uh, in the tool shed for a while and I didn't even realize it I've actually got a bag of former let me get that out of the uh, out of the light there former uh, live sand so it's not live anymore it's been sitting in a tool shed for quite some time opened up it's all dry there's even a little bit of green in there I might just uh, I might just do a prolonged cycle here. Use some of this, because really the whole point of this was just do it on the cheap. So I'm going to use what I already got. So I'm going to use this sand. Again, it's completely dried out. It's uh, been sitting here for a year, so it's not live anymore. Everything that's in it is dead. So that may help cycle this a little better. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but I think I'm going to rinse it out since it is completely dry. Uh, there might be a spider or two in there. I don't know. So I'm going to rinse this stuff out. See how much I need. And then uh, put my rocks together. I don't know. See how I want to want it to look in there. And then I'm going to have to, I think, clean up these rocks pretty good. Because uh, like I said, they've been sitting out here. They have been used before. There's probably a bunch of stuff on them. I'm going to have to cure them. Boil them. I don't know what. But... All right, so what I'm going to do is go do that. Clean my sand, clean my rocks, at least get the spiders out of them, and then see what I can arrange inside the tank, see what looks good. All right, guys, so I got the rock out here on my picnic table, and I'm just kind of taking a look at it, see what it looks like, see how it looks inside. I tried this big piece right here, so let me go ahead and stick that in here without scratching anything. And I kind of like the the fit. It might be a little bit big, but uh, I like the fact that there's lots of spots to put stuff, and it kind of comes up a little bit higher. But I started looking at this one here, and uh, kind of just moving it around. And, you know, this is going to be like the backside, I guess, and. Uh, this one's got a nice little ledge. It's a bit smaller than the other one. 
Let me try sticking that one in there. Gotta be careful with this. I don't scratch up the glass or anything. Now, if I put this in there like that, it's kind of small, but uh, you know, you're gonna have sand in here. And I like the fact that there's like a ledge and I've got a couple other pieces here that I can maybe add on to later on. I don't know. But I like this because it's already got the, uh, it's not got the nice coloring. And that's going to make it pop right away. I think I'm going to go with this rock here. It's a little bit on the smaller side, but hey, it's a small tank. And uh, we'll see how it goes. And then uh, maybe add on to it. Right? Dog is good with that. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and clean this rock up. Clean my sand up. Get it in there start adding water all right guys so what I did was I just kind of dumped a bunch of this dried up no longer alive I know I'm gonna get comments I always do if I use some just dried up former live sand somebody always goes oh my god you just killed everything in there because you rinsed it with fresh water well it's been sitting in a tool shed totally dried up with spiders in it the spiders are probably the only thing that's alive in it so I, I put in a good amount in there. You can't quite see it there because of the grass. And then uh, I took the hose, just kind of rinsed it out. Got some of the, uh, you know, finer particles, let them overflow. I'm going to let it settle down right now. Then we'll empty out the, you know, the tap water here. And uh, see what it looks like with the rock sitting on the sand. All right, so uh, just emptied out the water and uh, kind of settled the sand down. You can see there's about an inch. Still a little bit of water in there. Drop the rock in there, kind of see what it looks like. All right, I'm gonna try to drain out some more of this water. Again, we're just gonna be cycling this thing. There's no fish in here, so don't freak out on me. We're gonna cycle it. I think I'm gonna get some of that uh, Dr. Tim's, put that in there, because like I said, the sand is dead, the rock is dried up and dead. We're just gonna put it in, uh, set it up, Put in Dr. Tim's, let the cycle begin. All right, guys. So mixed up some salt water, and as you can see through the refractometer here, got it right at 1.025. Perfect. I'm gonna go ahead and put the water in and uh, get started. So I figured I'd show you the actual water here. So here's the bucket of water. It's a five gallon drum. And uh, this is where the tank is going to be sitting right now. At least that's the plan. If it would focus. There we go. And, uh, all right, I'm going to dump the water in. All right, guys, I just put the water in. And uh, this is not the light that's going to be on here. I, I just pulled this one off of one of my other tanks uh, that's sitting right over here. It's actually a freshwater tank. But uh, I wanted to see what it looks like with the... Uh, with the rock in there and it's kind of interesting the rock you know when we first put it in there it looked kind of small ish but uh the curved glass whatever kind of distorts the light and it actually looks pretty damn big <laughs> so that's kind of a good thing but uh lots of space on here it'll be interesting to see what the corals look like uh in that sort of a curved glass effect here so, like I said, this is just a little Phoenix light that I had on uh, one of the other Pico tanks I did. Let me see here. Here's just blue. And it still kind of washes out here. But anyway, that's it. Okay, so I think, what next? What do I got to do here? All right, I got to go get some Dr. Tim's. I got to go dig around in my uh, supply cabinet here and see if I got a bottle lying around that's still good. Otherwise, I'm going to go run to the local fish shop and uh, pick a bottle up, pour it in there. And then the next thing I got to do, which we don't really have to do right now when it's cycling, but uh, we're going to use an air, an air pump with a little air hose, just kind of going down the back. Um, and that's going to be our circulation. So there's going to be a large bubble kind of going up and that will cause the circulation within the tank. Now we could use a small pump, like a very small one, you know, kind of like that comes on the, uh, comes on these uh, fluval 
little spec tanks, you know, a small, small pump and just kind of stick that in the back. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, I'm trying to do this on the cheap, so I don't want to buy a whole bunch of stuff. So I, I've already got an air pump uh, lying around with hose and all that. So I'm going to put that in next. That'll be the next video. So this is, this is going to be the end of part one from first thinking this idea up to uh, it's day one and it's set up over here. Uh, just got to wait for the actual light to come in. So that's going to come in in a couple of days that uh, you saw earlier in the video there. Uh, and we'll get that set up. So stay tuned. Remember to subscribe, hit the like button. Uh, if you got any questions or comments on uh, what I should do or what you think of these little Pico tanks, go ahead and comment in the video below. Uh, appreciate it. I look at all the comments, uh, good or bad. So, uh, yeah. Until next time, take care, guys.